Hello and welcome to Message in a Moment. It is my privilege to come today and sit down with you for just a moment. Usually we don't talk much over three minutes or so. But in those three minutes, I'd like to tell you over and over again how much God loves you, how much God wants to be involved in your life, and how much He will bless you if you'll receive His Son, Jesus. Today I want to talk about wrong words. And I want to use this as a statement. Goliath's fatal flaw was defying the living God. Now, you may not know who Goliath was, so I'll tell you real quickly that in 1 Samuel 17, the whole chapter tells a story about a great big giant who was a Philistine. And the Philistine army and the Israeli army were in battle array. And this great big giant stepped out and said, let me just do this. You pick out your best man and I'll fight your best man. And if he beats me, we'll be your servant. If I beat him, then you will be our servants. But I defy, uh, keyword, I defy this army. Well, see the problem there, Goliath, was that was the army of God. And when you defied that army, you defied God. And there was a little guy named David that had brought some cheese to his brothers who were in the battle, in the war. And when he heard that, he looked at the, the army of Israel and they all ran and hid when this great big giant came out and David says, why is everybody running? Now, who's this guy? Who's he think he is defying the armies of the living God? Nobody can talk like that about the army of God. And so when finally he talks Saul the king into letting him go, he goes out to this huge giant. David is a little guy. This giant is huge. He is a great big man. And so when the giant finally can look down and up and sees David, he starts laughing at him and starts cursing him in the name of Dagon, his God. And David stood there and listened a while. And finally he said, let me tell you, sir, you come to me with spear and armor and shield. But I come to you in the name of the Lord God of the host of the army of Israel. This God that you've defied. That's who I come to you against. You come with all kinds of weaponry. I come to you in a name. And so I love that. That You, you need to go read 1 Samuel 17. The Bible says David ran to the battle. Because David knew I'm in a cause. I've got the name. I'm in his name. I'm in his power. And he took that slingshot and hit a rock and sunk it into the forehead of that giant. And they won the battle simply because here's a, a guy defying God. And here's a little bitty boy saying, nobody is going to stand against my God. I'm going to come in his name. And everybody on earth is going to know there is a God. Not there's a David. There's a God. Well, I hope you know him. If you don't, you, you can. Jesus Christ will accept you the minute you accept him. Until we meet again, God bless you.